Hi, welcome. Let's get started. Grab out your foam roller. I'm using ankle weights today. This is a quick foam roller core workout, so find what you have available. Otherwise, let's get on your foam roller. Laying down on the roller, let's start to do some pelvic tilting. So inhale when you arc your back, exhale when you press your back into the roller. Now start to move your arms, kind of like you're making a snow angel, when you arc your back. And then exhale, arms come down when your back presses into the roller. Let's do this a couple of times. Now when you exhale and press your back into the roller, do not squeeze your glutes. Really focus on releasing the sacrum, lengthening the back. Now draw your arms down to your sides, lift your legs all the way up overhead. Slowly roll your spine up off the foam roller and down slow like you're unrolling a roll of dough. Now even if you can only get your hips up barely off the roller, you could also do this on the floor. I'm really focusing on dropping my shoulders and articulating the spine down, keeping my legs as close as possible to me. Now drop the feet to the floor. And let's start marching. So pelvis stays neutral, nice and stable. You can tell I'm on my elbows for a little bit more of a core challenge. Flex your feet and we're moving from the hip. This is just an alternating of lifting and lowering the legs. Knees are frozen at 90, shoulders are dropped back. Really use that roller to your advantage, not to hunch the chest. And if you need to, even touch the core with your fingertips to see how strongly contracted you are. Dropping the feet to the mat, open your arms into a cactus. Relax the front ribs down. You're going to get a good glimpse here at how tight the shoulders are or the inability for the scapula to relax down. This is one of my favorite releases when it comes to the chest and shoulders. So just calm, deep breathing. When you're ready, turn the fingertips down, drop the arms down to the sides, and bring the legs back up again. I'm on my elbows, and let's start to scissor split. Now this is not a race, core is stable. Stability equals mobility. Breathing, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose or mouth. If I can't be stable, I can't be mobile. So maybe that leg doesn't drop all the way towards the ground, but as you lower one leg, equally try to pull in on the opposite without bending the knee. You can also keep the knees slightly bent, but then freeze them in place. Just like a pair of scissors, we're moving from the hip, not from the middle of the scissor. Slowly now lengthen out one leg, flex that foot and draw the opposite in. Now I know you can't see it, but I'm just holding the leg with one arm and using the opposite for stability. Lengthen through your bottom heel. Slowly transition, make that be a core challenge. And then slowly start to bring that bent knee in, lengthening the hip flexor, the psoas of the lengthened leg. Now the tighter the hip, the more that straight leg's gonna wing out to the side, so pay attention to that. Legs both come back up towards the sky. Roll the ankles, snap, crackle, pop, nice and steady. And now bring the legs into a happy baby. Now, if this is too difficult to do on the roller, drop off the roller. Lengthen the legs out into a straddle, drop your shoulders. My core is still controlling here. Most people like to roll their hips up off the floor or the roller during a straddle like this, but I want you to uncurl the tailbone. Lengthen the lower back. Bring the legs back up to a tabletop. Slightly elevate the head and shoulders. Now my rib cage is knit down for a little bit of a single leg stretch. Press through the heels, core is nice and steady. Lower back is not pressing into the roller. Now if your neck is straining, your upper abs aren't yet strong enough to lift the head and shoulders, so do not lift them. This is about creating stability, not about being out of breath because you're moving so quickly. Breathe, drop the feet, drop the head. Drop it open into a bound angle. Slide the heels out as far away as you need to to make comfort for the knees and back into those cactus arms. Look how my back is arcing. Let your body completely pull itself into release here and breathe. Bring the legs back up together arms down. Now roll off of your foam roller. Oh, feels so good. Bring the knees in if you need to rock a little bit. 
and then back into happy baby, grabbing from the inside or the outside of the feet. If necessary, loop a strap or a towel over each foot and grab there, or grab for the ankles or even behind the knees. Now I'm alternating extending my legs and then moving back into happy baby. Same thing again, notice how the hips want to curl up off the floor. That's due to that tightness. I want you to uncurl the tailbone and think about keeping a small arc in the lower back as you alternate now here into a variation of drawn bow. Again, you could simply place your hands behind the calves. I just have long arms, so it's easy for me to grab the feet. Draw the feet together. Draw the nose to the toes. And then again, arc the back as you keep the feet together. Drop the feet to the floor, drop them wider than each hip, and now alternate, pressing one knee in and letting the opposite fall out. Noticing which hip is tighter, let the whole body pull with. This is a great stretch to do in bed at night if you're finding that you have back pain or hip pain. Knees into the chest, give yourself a gentle hug. Great job.